In this tutorial here, we'll continue on with our extruded components here, and we're going to be making the sides of the sweet dispenser and the top piece there as well. So if I go into on shape, I've already got my base opened up and I'm in my sweet dispenser project there. What I want to do down here is this little plus symbol. I'm going to click insert new element. I'm going to go create part studio. And there it's going to give us a new kind of part studio to work in. So we can create our um, we're going to create our top in this part uh, in this part studio. So again, I'm going to go to sketch, give me a sketch plane. So I'm going to click top there, and then I'm going to click on the top on the view cube there, just to make it nice and easy and clear where I'm sketching. So again, I'm going to go up. We see the menu bar has changed here. I'm going to click corner rectangle. I'm going to hover over that point where it goes yellow there. I'm going to right in the center of that there. I'm going to click. I'm going to drag a rectangle out. And then we're going to go up and go over the dimension tool there. So remember, you can hover over the tools to find out what they do. Dimension tool. I'm going to click on that left hand side and I'm going to click again off to the side there. So I want it to be 80 there. So I can type in 80, press return. And on that bottom edge, I want to give that a dimension too. So I'm going to click on that where it's yellow and I'm going to just click below there as well and give that a dimension of 90. And then I can just click. Uh, put the tick there and we've got a sketch there and if I just rotate that round you can see I've just got a 2D sketch at the moment. So this toolbar has gone back to the 3D tools so I can click on extrude there. I'm going to click on that shape that we just sketched and I'm going to change that depth to 20 millimeters, and then I can just click tick there. So we've got a similar bit of wood to be created for the base. Obviously we need a hole in the top here that the sweets would drop through. So I'm going to go and ske click sketch again. I'm going to click on that top face there. And I'm just going to click on that top of that view cube there so I've got a nice clear view of where we're sketching. I'm going to add two lines here. So I'm going to draw, uh, add two diagonals going across the uh, square there. So as it's in the corner, you can see it's got a yellow dot, means it's going to constrain there. I'm going to add that going right across to there. And I'm just going to press escape. And I'm going to go select that tool again. I'm going to add it going across the other way there as well. Be careful where I, uh, I'm clicking to make sure I get it nice and accurate. Press escape there again, and I've got these two crosses here. What I am now going to do is going to grab the circle tool, and right over the middle of that there, where those two lines meet, I'm going to draw a circle. And I'm going to click there as well. We want to give that a dimension, so I'm going to go up and grab the dimension tool. And we're going to give that a dimension of 30. Yeah, dimension of 30 there. And then we can just press the tick there. And again, we're going to grab the extrude tool. I'm just going to rotate this round a little bit so we can see it happening better view. We also go and click on isometric there, which is a nice view of it too. I'm going to use the extrude tool there. I'm going to select those four quarters and I'm going to see where it says add I'm going to do a remove because rather than extruding we're subtracting material or doing what we call subtract extrude so we're going through the block there you see that looks good and we can just tick there and we've got our hole in the top there so we're going to start in here under parts one we're going to rename that there I'm going to call that the top we're going to go down here as well I'm going to rename that as well. I'm going to call that the top as well. And then finally, I'm going to right click on that first place where I type top. I'm going to go edit appearance. And I'm going to put that kind of muted, kind of yellowy, browny color there. I just click the green tick, and that's the top done. So now I'm going to move on to doing the two sides. I'm going to click that plus symbol again down the bottom left. I'm going to click create part studio. As the two sides are the same, we're just going to draw one here. So we're going to click the sketch tool, and this time we are going to click again on the top, and I'm just going to click on the top in the view cube there, so I've got a nice top-down view there, and I'm going to go and select my corner rectangle tool again there. I'm going to click on that dot, and I'm just going to click a roughly shape we want, we'll just have a much narrower, taller rectangle this time, and I'm going to select my dimension tool. So I want a dimension on that left hand side there. And this dimension here is going to be 80. So I'm going to just type in 80 and press return. 
and I'm going to click on that bottom one and again click down below to position the dimension and we want that there to be 25 so I'm just going to type in 25 and press enter there as well and we've got our rectangle drawn and dimensioned there just click that green arrow so I'm going to go to the little view clip and click isometric there and then I'm going to extrude that so again, click on the extrude tool click on the shape and we want that to be extruded by 20 there and then we can just click return and we've got our side so I'm just going to again go down to here below parts one I'm going to go rename just going to call it a side we go down here and we get rename call that side as well oops and then finally it's going to change the appearance again edit appearance and make that kind of light briny color too there we are so that's our side done so i'm just going to wrap up that tutorial there and in the next tutorial we'll show you how to create the drawer for the sweet dispenser